AI can do some pretty amazing things, but can it accurately predict Paldean Pokemon forms? Oh, oh no. Let's find out. Okay, first up, we're gonna see what AI thinks that Wiglet's evolution might look like. So I put in uh, some stuff that I thought might be relevant and uh, let's see what we get. Oh, whoa, that is way cooler than I imagined. Yeah? Uh, wow. Man, if that's what Wiglet evolves into, Wiglet's I'm I'm cool with Wiglet. <laughs> you know what? Wiglet actually has earned my respect if that's what it evolves into. That was way above anything I had expected. So Wiglet's like a dragon type now. It evolves from like this water garden eel thing into like a, a dragon eel. A scary dragon eel. That would be pretty awesome. I would love that. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're beating dragon eel. All right. Well, let's see what we get. It doesn't even have eyes. It uses its other senses to figure out where things are. Oh, nice. Suddenly its intimidation has gone. Its intimidation factor has gone up by like a 20 out of 10. This is, wow. So it's that, I think I put in some keywords, scary or angry. And um, oh. I think it's taking those pretty seriously. I don't know what this monstrosity is, but that, and that one, like it, it got its head cut off. Yeah. It's just floating there. But, oh man, like this is like a Gyarados, uh, like side evolution. Like, I don't know, man, dude, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. I would love to see Wiglet evolve into any of these, like that w would be better than a triple Wiglet or whatever. A yeah. Wig trio. Nah. Mm-hmm. We don't need another, we don't need <laughs> another copy of that. Yeah. Okay, let's see what the Paldean Whooper evolution is going to look like. The Paldean Quagsire. This is what AI says we're going to see. Oh! That's not what I was expecting. Uh, that, oh, that's actually that has some cool. promise. It looks, it's like a little Axew evolution or something. Oh, what the heck is this? It looks. It has the face it sort of... It has ears! It reminds me like a, of a, a Squirtle. <laughs> <laughs> that monstrosity. Something. I mean, it's kind of goofy looking like, like, you know, you would expect a quagsire to be. So yeah. actually that's probably the closest to an actual quagsire. I don't know what happened with these ears here. That's kind of weird. I like uh, it though. This is cool though. Yeah. I the mean, fin on the back of the head really sells it. Dude. I mean, these don't really look very much like whooper, but you they know. don't, but I mean, if this... we're going on the coolness scale, <laughs> if we're going on the coolness scale, which one do you think wins? Uh, I'm going to have to go honestly with uh, the second one. Okay. It the just stands one. out to me the most. Yeah. The fin. I, I kind of like the, the chonkiness of, uh, of the first one here. It's mm -hmm. not bad. Uh, the third one's kind of interesting, but it just does not feel like a whooper evolution at all with these giant ears. Yeah. Um, this one, I think is closest it to, to a quagsire. Is. I mean, just cause of the goofy face. So Fido, we've got this like doughy, squishy thing. We don't know whether it's getting an evolution. Let's see what AI thinks an evolution might look yeah. like. <laughs> no. Okay. And that's a no. Um, interesting, but doesn't look anything like a pastry. Like uh, none of these look like pastries. What on earth? This is garbage. Uh... all garbage. Wow. What did I just witness? I, I don't understand. So I put Fido evolved form, fairy type, because I because you know Fido is fairy type, cute, big dog, pastry, canine. Maybe take out canine. Uh, the generator completely misunderstood us. Um, this is bad. Maybe we'll try again. Okay, we'll see if we get anything better. It puts a few different keywords in there. Oh, this still looks nothing oh. like a pastry. Like what on earth? Maybe put dough as a keyword i don't what, what the okay we're done with this nobody really cares no. about fido anyway all right let's see what we get with le chonks evolution some kind of big pig i'm guessing oh it's standing on its hind legs and also i don't know what's going on with its mouth here um yeah the second one just looks like a kangaskhan that's what I was thinking of. The third one just kind of looks like a Grumpig slash Gremlin. And, oh, this one has an extra arm on one side only. Uh, that's horrifying. Why are these all bipedal, too? Like, none of them are still on all fours? Uh, I guess it just thinks pigs stand up. 
pigs stand up when they evolve, I guess. Grump pig did. I mean, yeah. it went from a bouncing little spring thing to like a standing on its hind legs thingy. I don't know. Well, these are monstrosities. Especially that last one. Okay, let's see what we get with Smoliv's evolution. Oh! Yo! Okay, alright. I mean, that's that's not terrible. Honestly, I kind of dig the first one. Huh. Yeah, it's kind of like a Yeti sort of thing. I mean, it doesn't look much like an olive, but... Well, maybe it's kind of olive-colored. Mm -hmm. I think with some tweaks to it, it could be an evolution, that's, definitely. That's not bad. This thing almost looks like a Zygarde or I something. I like how its eyes on the second one aren't <laughs> level. Yeah, they're like not quite right. Kind of a little bit creepy there, but um Oh wow, they're not even the same eye. Oh wow. Yeah. Um what do we got here? Some Ooh. sort of like gremlin dragon, dragon thing. Dragon dark. Again, doesn't look much like an olive, but it's kinda olive colored. I think that's what it yeah. took the word keyword olive and just sort of made everything olive colored. Um this one's interesting. It's got that kind of like high dragon mane sort of thing going on. Yeah. Kind of interesting. I mean, I, none of these really look like an olive, but, uh... Definitely. I mean, like, this head kind of looks a little bit like an olive. Or, like, it has an olive on it, the last yeah. one. Yeah. And maybe these are, like, pimentos, like, for eyes. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, compared to some of the other junk that we've gotten from this. This is definitely an improvement. It's, it's not bad. Okay, so there has been no official word about any sort of Paldean Meowth or Persian, but we wanted to see what those might look like if we got Paldean versions of Meowth. Just out of curiosity. So, okay. It's a cat. It's like an electric cat for some reason. <laughs> oh, this one's got like a cape? And like, I don't know what's going on with this tail or something multiple but. capes yeah <laughs> uh oh and um wait is that that's two tails yeah i guess it, i don't know what this thing is though this like round thing in the back the like a balloon coming out of its head with like a golden tail and like a shadow tail well, it, it is a cat. Yeah, they don't really look much like Meowth, though. And they don't... I mean, this one doesn't even look like a Pokemon, the first one here. Well, we tried Paldean Meowth. That was a disaster. So let's see if a Paldean Persian could look any better. <sighs> I mean, a little. The first one's not too bad. The second one looks very similar to it. The oh, oh, it's like a got a giraffe rig for giraffe kind of thing going on here. I that's actually kind of cool. I don't know I like that. what that weird thing is coming out of its head. The one the right head on the right. Yeah. But um, nah. Wow, that's actually really cool. What a I two like headed Persian. That. That's cool. That's fascinating. And then that oh, oh eye is that a third of, eye? Oh, maybe it's a third eye. Maybe we don't see the eye on the other side. Ooh, mm. that's that's definitely a lot better if this is a third eye instead of like yeah. I hope that's not a second eye. eye. Yeah, um, but yeah, this one. Oh yeah, man, that's not too bad. Not too shabby. I I, I, like, I the, like that one. Yeah, I like the pattern on the head on the left as well. Very cool. It also gives the idea of a third eye, in my opinion. No, no. Yeah, maybe this is a part psychic type. Mm-hmm, definitely. Okay, so some people have been speculating that there might be a pre-evolution of both Armor Rouge and Cerule Edge that's the same, and that's in both versions of the game, Scarlet and Violet. So let's see what that might look like. <laughs> okay, that does not look like a baby form. Um, <laughs> the baby fire. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I did specify somewhere in here, I think, small, short, squire, I don't know, I tried. Um, maybe I should have put more, like, baby-like things. I mean, this is not bad as a Pokemon. Uh, it doesn't look like a pre-evolution, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one actually is kind of, I mean, I was going to say kind of fire, but it literally has fire coming out of its head. <laughs> Quite literal, yeah. That's, that's actually stinking cool. I like that. It's it, it's, it, it doesn't make a good pre-evolution, but it's it's a pretty awesome Pokemon on its own. This almost looks like an Ultra Beast or something, because uh, it like it has no face or like I don't know what's really going on there, but it's kind of cool. 
Mm -hmm. uh, this last one, um, it g gives me kind of Hoopa vibes, yeah, maybe? Yeah, I was feeling that with the floating uh, top left arm. So, not bad, although, yeah, none of these look like a base form for Armourage or Cerule Edge, but uh, not not too bad. They do look they do look neat. Okay, now we're getting to the ones you've all been waiting for. Let's find out what the starter evolutions are going to look like. I'm kind of feeling like a Puss in Boots Musketeer would be... It would be a missed opportunity if they didn't do something like that, so I put some keywords in there. Uh, and they just ignore them, apparently. The, the first one here, this could be like maybe a mid form. The second one just is ugly. I don't know what that is. Yeah. This thing, <laughs> it's got like a disembodied leg over here. Like <laughs> it like chopped off some other creature's leg. I don't know. Um, but I mean, it's not bad. It could be like kind of a mythical Pokemon, maybe something like that. I don't, yeah. I mean, could, could that be... Could that final? be Sprigatito's final evolution? I it's kind of cool looking. I mean, it's kind of got boot looking things, sort of. Mm, it's not bad. Uh, and then the last one's kind of an abomination. Like, where's its fourth leg? Is its le other its leg? Its leg is its <laughs> tail. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Yeah, I don't like that one. But uh, I'd say out of all of these, uh, out of all of these, this the third one here. This is probably the only one that like has a chance of like being kind of good as a Pokemon, I think, Pokemon design. Mm. Uh, I don't think Sprigatito is going to look like that, but not bad. Well, I think the first one um, actually does have some potential. There's Charmeleon, which kind of looks more, I don't know, angry. So I feel like if they're going along that pattern for these starters, it could work. Yeah, this mid-stage, as a mid-stage, it's not too yeah, bad. Yeah, as a mid-stage. Okay, let's see what Fue Coco's evolution might look like. We know it's got to be like some sort of crocodile type thing. Yo. I mean, it's got Maybe. two tails. That's kind of interesting. But um, this <laughs> one with spikes and one without. But it's sort of like a like a devil dragon sort of thing. I mean, that's kind of interesting. I don't. I, that doesn't look much like a crocodile. It looks more like a dragon. Yeah, for sure. But not. I mean, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, again, very much like devil looking sort of thing, dragon looking. Yeah. Um, I'm not getting much like crocodile vibes They're, out of these I, things. I feel like the, the third one's like kind of a Charizard, honestly. It's, it's very close scheme. to Charizard, yeah. Again, with the two tails, that's kind of odd. Interesting. Unless that's a Mega Salamence type thing it's got going on. Like maybe that's the Crescent thing. I don't know. Um, the fourth one's actually not bad, too. Um, is this the most crocodile, crocodilian looking? If you had to choose one of these to be the final form of this Pokemon, which one would you choose? Um, am I just going by what looks the coolest or what I think, like, makes the most sense for Fue Coco? Let's say what makes the most sense. The first one's face is kind of, kind of weird. I, I don't know. It looks a little too, like, devil-like. I feel like the second one could work. Um, the, th the third one's not bad, too. Um, but I really like the fourth one. It looks very dinosaur-like, which is not exactly crocodilian necessarily. But, um, not, I mean, I, I love that design. So, I mean, if I had to choose, I, I think I would pick that one just because I love it. <laughs> it does. It's a little bit crocodilian, so I guess that could work. All right. What yeah, do you think? That. Honestly, I was going to go forth as well. All okay. the reasons made sense. Okay. All right. So hopefully that's what Fue Coco looks like. I don't. I don't think it's going to look anything like that, but we'll see. Okay. Last but certainly not least, I want to see what Quaxley's evolution is going to look like. Um, personally, this is my favorite of the new starters, so I want to see what we could have these things look like if when they're fully evolved. Oh. Oh no. Okay, that looks entirely too much like a penguin, not at all like a duck. Um, I don't even know what's happening there. The second one... What? Ah! Uh, what happened to its... Its, its face and uh, what is going on here? It has a hat, you know? It has a hat. I'm moving on. Third one... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, this doesn't look like a duck, really, unless the entire face is like the duck bill. Um, and and it looks an awful lot like a honchcrow kind of thing. Like a honchcrow 
scrafty. I don't know. I, I, I also look at the, the the two toes on one foot and three on the other. That's that's a nice touch. <laughs> it really sells it. <laughs> oh, this one has four, and this one has one foot with four, and the other foot with three. Mm-hmm. Again, I'm getting more like penguin than duck vibes on this thing. Yeah. Um, also, I, this I, this is this hat is reminding me of like a nun. More than than a, like a ship's captain, which is kind of what I was thinking this thing might have in its final form. The nun is a ship captain. Um, let's try this one again. Yeah, yeah, roll it back. Okay, please give us something better this time. Okay, it, you I know mean, what? I'd say it's better. <laughs> Not much. Um, <clears throat> the first one still has a witch's hat, so kind of still that, like, haunch curl. It has sort one of arm thing. and one flipper. Oh, oh yeah, it's got, like, some claws on one, and just a flight plain old flipper on the other. But it, at least it does have the same number of toes on each foot. You know, that's an improvement. <laughs> okay, number two. It's Santa! Um, <laughs> okay, so is this, like, Delibird's cousin? It could be. Uh, Rotund with, like, the Santa beard for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what's ho, going on. Ho, ho, ho. What's also, what are, what are the, the, like, black things coming out of the, <laughs> the hat? Antennae? What? It looks like it's connected to the side of its head. It's, like, you know... Yeah, yeah, like, coming yeah. up through the hat, maybe? Something yeah. like that? Uh, okay. All right. I mean, I, I wouldn't want Quaxley to look like that in its final form, but look. Oh, look at this third one. All right. It's kind of like chicken feet or something, but uh, it's, it's kind of evil and scary looking. Like if Quaxley has like a half dark um, typing on its final evolution, this is not bad. It definitely could work. I mean, I would not be excited realistically to seeing this in the game. I would be disappointed but um, right, but but it's kind of cool. I mean, kind of evil looking, kind of scary. That's mm. not that's not bad. Okay, let's see yeah. the last one. Not sure how I feel about this. It's like I'm almost getting like sumo wrestler kind of vibes from this thing. And again, with the penguin look, like wh mm -hmm. why is it so hard that. for this AI to generate ducks? Everything looks like a penguin or maybe a chicken. Scheme okay, is... I, I know we've did, done this one to death, but I'm going to rerun this one. I'm going to change a couple of the keywords and see if we can get something better out of Quaxley. All right, this is your last chance, AI. Make Quaxley's evolution look good, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, the first one, I mean, I had... like, it's... it's an abomination. If uh... we're going the dark type route... It's got, it's got like some sort of corny dragon thing coming out of its shoulder. I don't know. At, okay, but if, okay, setting that aside, mm -hmm. let's pretend it doesn't have that dragon thing. Its head looks kind of cool. The head looks kind of cool. I, I like the, I like the like hair swooping back or feathers or whatever. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, second one. It's a clown. It's it. It's literally it as... A, a duck. Okay, moving on. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the third one, yeah, it doesn't really look anything like I would expect Quaxley's evolution to look like, but... Oh, that's that's not even a duck. That's n I, What even is What that? is this? It's an abomination. It's a bear. What <laughs> is that head? It's like a bug or like... <laughs> or is that a pin kerchin for a head? Like, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. Well, Let's you know what? Like, honestly, Quaxley's evolution can look like anything other than these. And now I'm going to be happy with it. Like, it could be the ugliest thing that I've ever seen. <laughs> this will make us a lot more grateful for whatever it actually ends up looking like. Wow. Subscribe, hit the like button, and let other people know about the channel. Thanks for watching. Okay, so what if we just put Donald Duck as the keyword? Like, if we if it just is Donald Duck, it's got to be better looking than everything. The we've Donald seen. Duck Pokemon, everybody. No. What the heck? Look at these two arms. What? I'm gonna have nightmares. What is going on? No. Just Donald. No. 
Mm. Why is it pink? It's not bad. Honestly, of all the Quaxley potentials, like... This one has the best. And it wasn't... And, and it it's terrible. Keyword, literally, Donald Duck. For real. Give us Donald. I, I think that this AI does not know what Donald Duck looks like. That I don't even think it knows me. what a duck looks like, to be honest. <laughs> so it this is like a duck be. bear or something. With, again, mangled hands. And I don't know what this tail thing is. Uh, the second one? Honestly. Uh, that, could, that looks like a Pokemon. It does. It could be a Pokemon. I see that. Not Quaxley's evolution, but I just asked for literally Donald Duck, and that's what it gave me. So, I mean, you know, that's all right. Uh, other than having an extra wing arm thing and a giant extra toe, kind of cool. I mean, that's something... That's actually... That's actually a really neat concept. Not bad. Definitely doesn't match Quaxley at all. I... Honestly, that one. Looks... I mean, we put in literally Donald Duck. This on one looks. This one, so. uh, this one looks pretty, pr pretty close to Donald. I feel like with it, the red. Imagine if Quaxley's final stage were a fire water type. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, that could work. And then we get penguin. A, a penguin abomination again. Th this is the keyword. Literally, Donald mm. Duck for real. <laughs> and it got penguin again. I give up. <laughs> all right. All right. See you guys later. <laughs>